Oh, this is not good. Not good, not good, not good at all. It's time for us to run because this is not good at all. Welcome back, everybody, to 7 Days to Die. I'm an old guy gaming, and uh, we are now finally on Alpha 20 Experimental. Um, and so we are going to start a new Let's Play series where we're going to play the game on the hardest settings, insane difficulty, nightmare speed all the time, uh, all that sort of thing. Um, I am very unfamiliar with Alpha 20. I watched a little, a few of the dev streams. I watched a little bit of um, Fubar play it. Um, but for the most part, I've purposefully stayed away from it so that everything's going to be new and fresh as we start out this next Alpha 20 era. Very excited to get started. So let's jump on in. We're going to hit new game. Uh, I'm going to play on the pre-gen 8K map, and we're just going to call this OG um, A20 um, Experimental. There we go. Okay. Um, and let's take a look at our settings here. A blood moon frequency, seven days. Range is zero. Blood moon warnings disabled. Uh, zombie day speed is going to be nightmare. This is full nightmare. Uh, we're going to turn feral sense on um, all the time, I guess. <laughs> this is going to be brutal. <laughs> um, and then uh, we're going to do advanced. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe we should. Maybe we should try this at night only, just making night even a little more dangerous than the daytime. Yeah, I think we'll try that. We'll just see. We'll just see how it goes. Um, and then let's see. All this is 100%. Loot respawn time. Loot is uh, respawn is disabled in general. Drop everything on death. 32 enemies for the blood moon. Airdrops are disabled. So yeah, those are my usual settings. The only thing really that's different here. We're doing 90 minute days too. If I didn't already say that, uh, and you can see that's it's on sane. Uh, the only thing here that's different is the zombie feral sense, which of course is a new feature. Um, I don't know. I'm just afraid if I put this on during the day too, uh, it's going to be so difficult that I may not be able to to make things work so to speak so let's go ahead and try it with them just be that just being on at nighttime um and then if i feel like it's too easy um you know then we can always re-enable this later okay so that's it let's click start and i will meet you guys in game and this is going to be a crazy adventure let's do it okay so it looks like we got to do the usual you know early game gather the shit do the quest stuff so let me work on that really quick get it out of the way and then we'll proceed Okay, that concludes our opening quest. Uh, those little sprite things that they put on the wood and the stone and stuff is actually very useful. I love it. Just makes it easier to find everything and get through the opening quest uh, real quick. Uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to gather a little bit more uh, wood and stone before we leave our, our grace area. Um, make a few more arrows, make a, probably a spear and that sort of thing, and then we'll proceed. Got ourselves our first chicken here. Uh, hopefully we can get enough bones to make a bone shiv. Oh, we got to repair this first. Okay, we only got four bones. I believe we need five. Okay, so we'll have to get some more uh, bones. So let me finish getting the wood here. Okay, let's take a look at skills. We should have uh, the usual four points to spend. Uh, so what we're going to start off with is we're going to go to agility and put a point in from the shadows. I usually do that at the very start of um, an insane uh, or a nightmare speed insane series. Uh, what else we want to do? Let's go and put a point into uh, sexual tyrannosaurus. We're going to put a point into that. And then we're going to put a point into living off the land. No, not living off the land. I'm sorry. Um, what's the cooking one? I think it's in strength too. Yeah, Master Chef, so we can make the basic food stuff and get that going. And then I think for our last point, we should probably put something into... Uh, where is it at? Deep cuts, because uh, this will help with bleeds, because um, bleeds are going to um, help us in the very early game uh, with killing these zombos. Okay, so that's our first distribution of points. Now we have a city over there, which is fan friggin' tastic, right in the same direction that we need to go for our trader. 
So we're going to start working in that direction. We're going to continue picking up resources as we go. I also made some cloth here. So let's go ahead and make ourselves a bandana with that. Uh, these are our frames. So we're going to use those uh, if we get into trouble. Also, especially before we can make our bone knife, we need one more bone. So hopefully we can find a gut pile somewhere. I do want to um, make a stone spear. Uh, we won't be using this for very long, but it's always good to have one of these in the very early game. And I also want to make a, a stone sledgehammer if we have everything we need for that, which it looks like we do. All right, this we're going to scrap. Don't want to use that at all. And let's kind of, let's put this up in here too. Our menu is like really uh, transparent, translucent, something like that. Let's... Let's go here to video UI. Let's bump this up to 90. Okay, I think we can work with this. All right, we're gonna put the spear here for the moment. Um, this We're gonna move this over. We'll put the sledge here. And I think we're good to, to go. Uh, all right, let's set on out. So we're working our way towards the trader, of course get that out of the way and then um, I'm only assuming that this is going to be a city ish because there's a pretty tall building there and uh, that would be a great place for us to start for sure so we'll gather some stones start watching out for Zika Roos because they are gonna inevitably show up uh, especially as we move out of our safety zone and it seems like stamina is a thing too definitely running out of that pretty quickly Maybe a little bit more frequently than before, but it's hard to say. Hard to say. Uh, we're not going to take that. Well, uh, can we sell that? A sell price. Yeah, let's grab it, and we'll try and sell it just to get a little bit early game coin. Got a car here. Let's check it and see if we can find something good. Um, No sell price, no sell price. Either one of those are going to be useful to us right now. The, well, you know what? I'm going to actually take the nails. Because we probably need those to make a, a bellows for a forge. Okay, so let's move along. Looks like we got another gut pile here. Don't see any Zeeks yet, but it's going to happen any moment. Gut piles are pretty gory looking now. That should have given some bones. Okay, so let's make a our first bone knife. And I'm actually going to put that in our number one slot. I'm going to dump this stuff for now. We have to really prioritize our our inventory space. Here, here is another lootable car. Let's see what's in here. This is nice, man, that we found this town so, so soon. A radiator. We can sell that. Let's grab it. Okay. Let's keep moving towards our trader, which is over there. Just keep our eyes peeled for Zeke's. Okay, I hear... Yeah, there's a zombie right there. Who is that? I think that's maybe the new skater punk. I'm not sure. Should we see how tough he is? Let's see if we can get a sneak shot off on him. I like the look of the new... Bow and arrows. It's just cool looking. We need him to hold still so I can get a preemptive strike on him. Oh, for goodness sakes. What the hell? Come on, really? Okay, he's after us now. Okay, we got to get some bleeds on him and just manage our stamina here. That's why we wanted to take that first point in blade skill. He should be bleeding out pretty soon. 
Hopefully. Yep, yeah, there he is. Okay, we got our first Zika Ruski kill. Yeah, that's the new Skater Punk. What the hell was going on with those arrows, though? I could have sworn there was a couple times I sh it just passed right through his body. I mean, not all of those shots were stellar, I admit that, but <laughs> there was a couple that should have absolutely hit him. So, I don't know. Maybe there's more drop than I was anticipating or whatever, but can I get any of my arrows back over here? Uh, yeah, there's that arrow. And here's one. And here's one. Okay, well, we got some of our arrows back anyway, and that's good. Okay, let's go, uh, let's continue moving on. There was a rabbit around here. Wouldn't mind tagging him if he's still around. Here's a, a crawler. That's easy XP for us. Let's nail him. Check the trash. You never know what you're going to find in the trash. We could sell that. Uh, well, we might be able to sell that too. Every little bit counts here in the very beginning. Now, let's see if we can actually hit this guy with our bow. Okay, that hit. I really like this new bow and the look of the arrows. It's very cool. He did. Okay. Can get some of our arrows back. Awesome. Okay. Oh, wow. Look at that. We'll sell those. Unless I can actually make the arrows right now. No, they're locked. Yeah, because we need a special skill for that. Um, I'm going to grab that for the moment. We are going to need it for our forge, but it'll be one of the first things to go if we got to make some space before we find a place to stash things. Uh, same same deal with that. Let's go check this car since we're over here. More nails. Okay. All right, we're going to cut across the pathway here. There's another chicken. Let's see if we can nail that chicken. Oh, we got zombie Bo up ahead. All right. He's a little tougher than Skater Punk. Um, do we want to mess with him? Why don't we try this little trick here? Is this thing still 7,000 hit points? It sure is. Okay. So let's see if we can pop him from over here. Oh, yeah. This, the, there's even more drop on this than there used to be. I think that's probably why I wasn't hitting that other guy. All right. Let's do this. Let's put that down. We can still... Oh, we can't pick those up now. Oh, wow. Okay. That's, uh, that changes this ta tactic. <laughs> Shit. I'm glad I ch I decided to look, uh, look at that before I went off barreling into the uh, danger there. All right, he's a little closer. Let's see if we can tag him now. There we go. All right, let's see if we can get a, a knife hit on him just to get a bleed going. There we go. And then we're going to switch to this because it's got pretty good reach. Okay, let's conk him with this. And he did. All right, we took him out. We took him out. All right, so yeah, this, uh, this will still work, but we're going to really have to consider how now can i make this into a frame a cube frame okay and if i do can i then pick it up there's no more picking up of frames wow okay i don't disagree with that i think um it probably should have been that way all along here before we break that so we could risk this um, Zombos could theoretically probably still make that jump too, but yeah. Okay. I'll have to, I'll have to rethink this. Actually leave that one there. Let's take this one back down, recover a little more wood from it. Get some XP. Okay. I'm just going to leave all that there. Uh, we can make another LC block. 
Oh, uh, only takes five stone. Okay, let's go. That looks like a, a stick that you can pick up. Like the look of the new train for sure. Looking good. Okay, we'll take those mechanical parts and probably just sell them for now. And there's our trader. So it looks like Trader Joel is our dude. Right? Oh, these are the new roads. Look at these. This is awesome. All right, think we can peg this rabbit from way back here? No, not a snowball's chance in hell. But if we get closer, he's just booking right on down the road, isn't he? Okay, let's see if we can get a little closer. All right, well, if he goes off into the two ways, we're probably not going to find him unless he comes back out on the road. Oh, nice finds. Okay, the beer especially. In fact, let's put that down here for emergencies. And speaking of that, let's put... um. Let's put the bedroll down right here just temporarily. Where's where where's it at? What the hell? Okay. Oh man, don't move, buddy. Got him. Okay, that only took two thousand arrows. But hey, we got the job done. Okay, there is a couple Zeeks over there. We got to be careful. We do not want to take on two zombies at the same time. One's bad enough on these settings. Yeah, I'm I'm feeling pretty good about my decision to make Feral Sense at night only because it's really going to make us not want to be out at night. Because one of the things about playing this game in the past and having all the Zeeks on nightmare speed all the time is. You know, nighttime wasn't scary. All right, there are two zombos over there. Let's see if we can um, get one of their attentions. Okay. Now, let's get back over this way so the other one isn't aggroed while we're dealing with this guy. What, did you lose me already? Oh. That's interesting. Hmm. Okay, let's, uh... Come at me, brah. <laughs> it's so funny when they do that. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay, they don't seem to hold aggro as long as they used to. That's got to get his attention. All right. Come on, Janitor. Is he dead? Oh, yeah, we killed him already. Nice. He's actually not that tough. He's got pretty weak hit points. Okay, we also have a Marlene over here. She's usually not scary fast so let's see if we can nab her just so we can get a little more xp here unless they changed her which they could have all right where'd you go there we go i think we got a nice little shoulder shot yeah she's not too bad speed wise Get those bleeds going. Oh, she got us. She did. Okay, we got tagged. She took 25% of our health away. Goodness gracious. Okay. Yeah. Welcome to insane, you guys. Son of a bitch. Okay. Let's uh, <laughs> let's go. Um, I'm going to turn these into normal bandages to stop bleeding. And we'll put that down there. Let's go say hi to the trader now. Did we already loot this car? We did not. Okay, we'll see if, how much of that stuff we can sell. All right, let's take a look at the Vinny machine. 
did close the door, right? Yeah. Let's see if any of these workstations work. Okay, that does not. We'll take the golden rod, though. Workbench does not work. Cement mixer does not work. And forge. What about the forge? Forge does not work. Okay, well, now we know. Now we know. We've got a Zeke out here. Businessman Zombo. Let's get a couple cheap shots off on him. Wow. Zombies seem to be dying relatively easy for this being insane difficulty. I wonder if they tuned that a little bit. I don't know. All right, let's go up here and talk to Trader Joel and sell a couple things. Great weather we've been having. Can we get over here and loot this paper? Lootable shelves now. Nice. That's something that's been in some mods for a while, but now it's actually in the vanilla game. I like it. I like it. Okay. Oh, he's got a... Uh, this, too. All right. I don't think I'm going to wear that right now because we need to be light on our feet, but we will hang on to it. Uh, or we'll sell it. <clears throat> Look at the new Trader Joe, man. He looks awesome. I <laughs> love it. Okay, let's see. Take a look at the inventory. Um, we should hang on to those. Um, we're going to sell this and this and this. Hmm, kind of want to hang on to the leather. Um, let's just sell that for now. Sell the cans, the radiators. This. These, because we can't make them and probably won't be able to for a very long time. And that. I think we're going to hang on to everything else for the moment. Because our very next thing here is that we're going to... Look for a place to set up a base. That gives us 250 coin. Let's look at his secret stats just to see what he has. Okay, that's it. Double barrel shotgun would be nice, but uh, way out of our price range at the moment for sure. All right. That would be nice to have. He restocks on day four. I've been playing so many seven days to die mods over the last several months that I have to get used to how vanilla works again here. Okay. Great doing business with you. Come back and tell your friends. All right. Now, our next objective, guys, is to find a place to set up our base. So, uh, we're probably just going to use a POI for that, at least early on. Uh, I want to go back and grab my sleeping bag, too. Who's that zombo? Oh, is that the new walking spider zombie? I think maybe it is. Well, he's it, that's not the spider zombie anymore, but it's the model that used to be the spider zombie. Should we see how fast he is? just occurred to me that I should have this back down. No, not that. That. Oh, wow. Their, their aggro is uh, way reduced from what it used to be. Oh, he's fast. He's pretty fast. He's pretty fast. He's pretty fast. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. He's dead though. I did set this to insane, right? <laughs> oh my goodness. These guys are dying so much easier than normal. Okay. Um, I mean, I'm not complaining about that, but on the other hand, 
It just seems a little too easy for the insane difficulty that I'm used to, you know. Uh, let's not mess with anything right now. Let's get a base going. And we want it to be close to the trader, of course. Okay, so we got a church there. we got a little farmhouse here with a field. This might be a remnant place, which means it might not have sleepies in it. Let's go down a little further. I don't recognize that skyscraper building there. That's got to be one of the new the new buildings. Oh, is that an actual sleeper? Or is that just a body? I think that's just a body. I guess we're going to find out in a second, aren't we? Yeah, it's just a body. Okay, there's Zombie Steve. Okay, he's pretty fast. Oh, shit, we got two of them. Time to run. Okay, the other one... The other one's leaving us alone, which is good. So they seem to be defensively weaker than they used to be, but they're still hitting like a Mack truck. I mean, I'm back down to 75 health now. All right, this is the new, I think the new nurse. Let's wait till we get our health back. I mean, I'm sorry, our stamina back. Oh, I'm out of arrows. Can I make more? Uh, we should be able to make some more with this. Oh, we have iron arrowheads, right. Okay. Got to switch to the iron arrows. Now, Nurse Nancy, old Nurse Nancy, was pretty fast, so I don't know how fast she's going to be, but we're going to find out here. Nice. Knocked her on her ass. Well, actually, on her front, but you know what I mean. Yeah, she's pretty quick. Pretty quick, pretty quick, pretty quick. And but she's dead. No way, really? We put this on insane, right? <laughs> I can't tell from here. Okay. I mean, I know we did. It's got to, it, it's just, I don't know. It seems a little easier. Again, defensively, they're not as tough, but they, they're still hitting really hard. Okay, let's go back, get our bedroll again, and move further into town again looking for a place for us to base up. Oh, that I, I guess I already picked my bedroll up. Never mind. Let's go down this way. It's uh, 3 o'clock in the afternoon, so I want to have an actual secure base location by nightfall. With this feral sense, I don't know. Whoa, look at that. All right. Uh, with this feral sense, you know, I don't know how that's going to actually work. Very cool. Okay. Found ourselves a pipe rifle. Take all that stuff. Let's just kind of go look over here. Got some big hay bales there. That's cool. Here's this house. Okay, there's a construction worker dude. Let's cheat. Let's check him out. And see how nasty he is. He's usually pretty fast and armored a bit too. So. I love the look of these new iron arrows, man. They're cool. Okay. Stop moving. Nice. 
Knocked him down. Very nice. Come this way, bro. We got a bow zombie over there, so let's not run that direction. I can't... I can't believe this is freaking insane difficulty. Did they really make it that easy? Maybe they have to do some fine tuning or something. Let's try Bo out. He's fast and he's tough. Nice shot. <laughs> Come at me, brah. He's coming at me. Ooh, that hurt. Cannot believe he's dead already. Okay. Well, that gives me a, a, a feel for what I'm up against in terms of the overall toughness of the zombies. Uh, I'm, I'm going to say they're every bit as offensively tough as they've always been on Insane, but they are definitely easier to kill. Um, you know, so defensively, they've been nerfed. I wonder if they did that to kind of help compensate for the feral sense. I don't know. Alright, I'm kind of liking the look of this house. Probably not, you know, wherever we base up right now, it's probably not going to be our permanent base. Not likely anyways. Well, this is a... I think this house has been in the game before, but they've they've upgraded a lot of, of the older stuff, too. Oh, we're thirsty, are we? All right, let's take one of these. Um, We might as well eat right now, too. And get rid of a couple things here that we don't need to be carrying around at the moment. I uh, guess I want all the rest of that stuff. So, I think there are sleepers in this house. That doesn't mean we can't take it over, though, but whatever we do, we need to get it done before nightfall and get the place secured is the thing. Uh, yeah, let's let's find something a little smaller than this. Got a little ditch going on here. That's kind of neat. Those would be good for selling. Oh shit, we got Arlene. One of the fastest zombos in the game. She's usually one of the weaker ones too, but she's very fast, so she's still dangerous as I'll get out. See, that's why the, the blade effect of the blade, and especially taking that first point in the blade skill, is uh, very, very useful in the early game here. Okay, so she's down. Uh, let's pick this back up. I kind of like this place. This is cute, and it's already got like a garden area that we could make use of later if we ended up staying here for the whole time. Um... So this place is also kind of cute too, and not very large, and it looks like it has 1,200 hit point concrete as opposed to this is probably just wood. Yeah. All right, how about this place to, just to start with? I know it's not much, but we don't need something super elaborate to start with here. We just need a base to get started with. All right, so let's go take a peek inside here and see if there are any Zombaruskis around. That's interesting. Huh. There's water down below. That could be like a water source.
Well, all right. This might be a little more difficult to secure than I was thinking because of the fact that it's got a ramp leading right up to it. We'd have to dig all that out. Ronnie McDonnie is in the house. All right. Let's get a preemptive off on him. Doesn't get much more preemptive than that. There's another sleeper in here, though. Yeah, I'm thinking this is not a good place for us to start, just because we'll go back in there and loot it later, but um, it'd be too much of a pain in the ass to try and secure by nightfall. So let's see. This is the church. Let's go back over here. We're going to have to make a decision here pretty quick. I'm getting a little too picky, I think. There's a barn there. That's kind of a cute little house. Let's go look at the front of that place. That one's not too bad either, and it's just right across from the trader. Yeah, what the hell? Let's let's check this one out. I think we're in the what's called the rural district. That's why we're seeing um, you know, all these uh kind of farms and garden types of yards here. All right, we've got another Ronnie McD here. Wow. Let's go back to stone arrows. How in the hell is that missing? It's like it's going right through him. There we go. Knocked him down. Always a good sign. What'd you drop for us, buddy? I'll take all of that. Very good stuff to find right now. Uh, we're going to chuck this and this. Uh, and this. Just don't need that stuff right at the moment. Okay, let's see if we can get into this place. It's getting on in the day here. Uh, is that an actual landmine? Oh, we're out of, completely out of arrows. Well, crap. If that is indeed a landmine, I'm going to have to deal with it sooner. I'm going to forget that it's there. And then you know what will happen after that, right? That might collapse. Oh, that did. Okay, so this is all pretty nice and boarded up. Let's see where the actual entrance is. I want to make some more uh, frame shapes, too. Let's make, uh, say, like 20. Okay, that door is locked. Son of a bitch. Time to run. Oh, we got a snake after us, too. Lovely. We'll take care of him with the spear after we deal with uh, Yo, Zombie Yo here. Yeah, you stay. Oh, shit. Snake, 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 snake. <laughs> that was close.
Okay, he did. And he did. He brought dinner to us. Are these guys fatter than they used to be, or is it just me? I don't know. Whew, okay. Let's go back. There's a little water source right there, too, which is great. So, let's see what's in here. Another pipe. Yeah, that guy was, like, right in that corner. We got some cobble that we can make use of later. Oh, it's the torch. I'm going, what the hell's making that noise? Got a Zeke somewhere. Inside the trailer. Okay. Let's close that door. Oh, that's not even blocked. Right, let's get some feathers. Oh, shit. He's right there, right? Okay. Um, let's grab these. Oh, uh, that's not going to block correctly. Shit. Okay, let's go back out here. Put this back down. <laughs> We don't want to take any chances. I th I heard someone walking around out here, too. I'm starting to think this house is actually going to be a little more difficult to get into. Mama's Justice. Interesting. Uh, yeah, that's a nurse, Zombo. Mama's Justice? What the hell does that mean? Oh, is that a... Oh, okay, that's a movie. This is like a drive-in theater. Okay, I got you. I remember the Mama's Justice um, poster. All right, we are running out of time, peeps. We are running out of time. Let's go back, get our bag. Maybe let's try this house. Some of these places are supposed to be so-called remnants and not have Zeke's in them, or have very few in them. Here, let's uh, let's get this put down out here just in case. No, not that. I keep doing that. Just in case the worst happens here. That's not good. Okay, there's nobody up there. Uh, we'll take those. Let's close that door for a second. Alright, I'm going to store a few things in here that we don't need right this moment. Which is most of this stuff. So, we're going to break in through there. What's, over, what's in through here? This is the actual house. Alright. Oh good, we can block the door there. sure where the other one's coming from. Sounds like it's coming from over there somewhere. Alright, she should be bleeding out here. Yeah, okay. Alright, now, where's this other one at? Oh, did she just fall down? Yeah, there she is. Okay, good. Okay. 
Okay, let's um let's break into here and see what's going on in here. Oh. A little little bit of a loot room going on in here. Aren't they gonna jump down on our heads? No. Okay, cool. Let's check in here. Okay, not really useful at the moment. Let's see what's in here real quick. We could get a potentially a pick or a shovel or something. Do 10% more damage to coal and burnt wood. Okay, we'll take that. We'll take those two things and put them in our... We don't need to be carrying this around box right now. Box. That box. Uh, those aren't doing us any good right at the moment either. Okay, let's go on in here. Okay. Check for meds. That's not quite exactly meds, but we'll take it. Uh, I'll take those because we can put those in the box out here. Oh, let's see. Glue and headlights. We can sell those and make a little bit of bank later. Okay, so the toilet's clear. Let's check in here. Uh, we definitely don't want that right now. Pick it up, probably drop it later. That, considering that it's light armor, it's going to reduce mo mobility by 4%, but it's going to give a 7.4 armor, so I think I'm going to wear it. So this part of the house is clear. Possible Zeke in that closet there. Possible Zeke's in there. Did I get some more feathers? I did. Let's make some arrows. I want to loot these covers because we need food, but we got to make sure this floor is clear first. Hmm. Oh, I, I think I've been in this house before. It just looks a little different because it's new. Yeah, this goes down yonder to the place down below, and there's usually a Zeke down there. Let's just break this ladder and patch this up for now. All right, now we need to see if... This closet has Zeke's in it. We got a yo. Just a yo. Okay, so what we're going to do with him is take him back into here. Sounds like we might have gotten two zombos. You know, not not being able to set frames down and then pick them back up changes things quite a bit. Definitely changes things quite a bit. The other thing that sucks about it is now I have to break this again. <laughs> That's all right. XP for us, right? Doesn't take that long to break. Okay, I think we've cleared the ground floor, but I want to be secure from Zeke's 
coming from the outside later. Oh, on. That goes way down in there with some water. Okay, we're going to have to be careful of that, aren't we? Um, let's check the sink and the cabinets real quick. What I think I want to do is I want to try and get upstairs and then break the stairs away so nothing down below can get at us. Either that or we set up a barricade and just fight them off if they come, which we can do as long... Oh, good. Uh, as long as there's not a bazillion of them at the same time, you know? All right, I don't trust this floor. There's some potential leather for us. Nice, miso soup. Okay, that all appears to be normal floor. That's not there. That is. Okay, all of that's fine. All right, let's kill this guy. That's an Edgar, our first Edgar. Our first Edgar of the series. There you go, Edgar. Have some sledgehammer action. Is he feral? Oh, I think he is, because he's got a glowing eye. 750 hit points. No, that's just a normal Edgar zombie XP, I think. Okay. Now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go back outside and grab my bedroll because we've at least secured the inside of the building. There's a Marlene. No, I'm sorry, a Darlene. Darlene's are typically pretty fast, and I don't have my full stamina, so I would rather not mess with her right now. Plus there's another Edgar over by her too. Let's grab our bedroll and head back inside. Okay, so this is going to be our fallback location until the house is completely secured. Um, can I get this in here? That was the question. Oh, uh, not really. <laughs> Uh, yeah, right there. Okay. All right, let's um head upstairs. There's a closet right there that a zombo usually pops out of. And I see a foot right behind that door. Let's close all doors that we currently can. Okay. Can we get to this door? Okay, good. Now we only have to deal with one zombo immediately, assuming there's one in the closet. Sometimes there is, sometimes there isn't. But I'm going to assume there probably is. Oh, that goes into the attic. Oh. All right, here, let's... um. Yeah, there is a zombie right there. Okay. Let's put that there. Can't quite block that one. Oh, shit, there's two of them in there. Oh, not good. 
Not good, not good, not good. Run this way. No, no, this way. Okay. Uh, pick up that so I can put that down. And we're going to have to make our stand here. Um, let's take this now while the taken's good. Alright. I want to let just one in here. And we'll deal with them in the usual way. Alright, he did. Let's repair that and repair that. Okay, let's let them work their way down here and then we'll deal with them in the same fashion. I'm glad that door's reinforced. Hi, Egger. Two Eggers. What's worse than one Egger? You guessed it. Oh, shit. We cannot let this break or we are in big trouble. Okay, he did. What are you doing, Egger? How come he's... How come he's, like, crouched? Uh, is he a crawling Edgar? He must be a crawling Edgar. Okay, Feral Sense has just kicked in. Whoever's out there has just discovered us. So, yeah, this is great. This is freaking great. What we're going to do is put some light in here so we can see what the hell's going on. Uh, this Egger is really hard to kill because he's... Oh, now he's standing up. What the hell, Egger? What is wrong with you, man? Don't answer that question. Oh, shit! That was hacks. All right, he bled out. That was complete and total hacks. And we lost our torch, too, which kind of sucks. Can we put it uh, up higher? Okay. All right, so, yes. Feral Sense. We love it. Um, I think... I think we're probably going to be fur far further ahead. Learn how to talk there, OG. To just stay here and fight him here and just keep things repaired as best we can until the ones that are sensing us are dealt with. And then once things quiet down, we will uh, resume trying to get upstairs. But I think it's too dangerous for me to try that right now. Um, yeah, so that's what we're going to do. Oh, shit, I hear a Hawaii 5 -0. There he is. The one and the only. We don't... Oh, he's feral too. Nice. We don't want him to hit us. Absolutely don't want him to hit us. Oh. See, he breaks this block fast, too. Oh, this is not good. Not good, not good, not good at all. It's time for us to run because this is not good at all. We are in bad trouble. Let's put that down while we don't have any stamina. Okay. Yeah. Run away! Stamina is what's going to kill me. Because I don't have any. Grab the bear. Grab the bear. Quick, 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 quick. Take the bear. Run, 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 run. <laughs> Mama. Not good. Not good. Ooh. I got a trick. Oh, that didn't work so well. I was hoping it would maybe teleport us like on the other side of the thing. There's a wolf. Do wolves have feral sense? I hope wolves don't have feral sense. All right, I think we're dead. Get out of here. No stamina to hit to kill you. Not good. Oh, we're dead. <laughs> oh boy. There we go, ladies and gentlemen, our first death. Wow. So, yeah. What I, in hindsight, you know, because I'm trying to figure out how everything works, 
in hindsight, what I should have done is prioritize getting upstairs a little more quickly um, because, you know, then we could have broke the stairs out and probably had a better chance of surviving that. Um, wow. Okay. So pretty darn easy during the day, uh, considering how, you know, again, this is all relative to insane difficulty. Uh, pretty pretty darn easy during the day, you know, to kill the zombies, but nighttime is absolutely deadly. Um, so, yeah. All right. Well, let's spawn back on the bed. And there's a bunny right in front of us. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the game here and we got to wrap up this episode because we've gone kind of long and I'm just going to pick up right where we left off for episode two right here in just a couple seconds, as a matter of fact, and we'll or, uh, go get our stuff and then see what our options are. So guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this very first episode of Alpha 20 Experimental. Uh, first time I've played it and um, I'm liking it. Uh, definitely liking it. it. Looks looks really good. And I'm liking how... Uh, how um, dangerous, you know, the nighttime is with that feral sense. And I'm thinking I'm pretty glad I didn't put it on for during the day because that might have made things um, damn near impossible. I don't know. We'll see. Once I kind of get you more used to it, though, we might try that during the day at some point, too. But for now, we're going to stick with these settings. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share out the video. And uh, also know that if you want to be a member of the awesome old guy gaming community, you can find a link to the Discord down in the description. And I also do live stream several times a week. And you can find the links uh, to Twitch and YouTube and Facebook also in the description. All right, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.